We've learned some new information tonight about that serious fire that erupted inside of a food truck. Eyewitness News has now learned it has not been licensed since 2013. Two workers injured in that fire remain in serious condition tonight at Eskenazi Health. Investigators say it was accidental, but as City Beat reporter Mary Mills reports, some say more needs to be done right now so something like this does not happen again. What happened Saturday has definitely raised concerns among other food truck operators, including the owner of this one. This is the brains of the operation. In this Jeff Edwards, right who was one of the first to open a food truck in Indianapolis, he feels bad for the people hurt in Saturday's explosion and fire, which occurred in the parking lot of the Pick Apart Salvage Lot. Investigators believe the truck burst into flames as workers were trying to refuel the generator. According to the health department, Alta Car was operating without a license and was last inspected in 2013. But even then, health inspections are pretty much limited to food prep and safety, not the mechanical aspects of the truck. In the event that occurred Saturday, I think it will help a lot of us kind of go back and, and re-look at what we've done and how we do things and maybe put other procedures in play. Um, you know, where we put our generators, how we haul our fuel, all those things. Uh, if, it's, if nothing else, it's a wake-up call for everybody. Tonight at 6, we're going to have more on the history of that taco truck from the health department and why it was able to operate without a license for a year and a half. On the City Beat, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.